Welcome to our Word on Wednesday, our weekly devotions. Today we begin a four-week series on imagining Scripture. In the sense of the process being that this is an inward journey, and so you might remember right at the beginning of COVID, which happened just as we were in the middle of Lent, we encouraged everybody to make a cross or draw a cross or get some sort of icon that just reminded them of Easter. And so as we prepare to go on this inward journey, I'd like to encourage you to find some sort of icon that reminds you of Christ. It might be that cross you made, a lit candle, or something that just reminds you that Christ is present in this moment. Then secondly, to find a comfortable place, either a very comfortable armchair, maybe you want to sit out in the garden where you can hear the birds sing, but find a place that is comfortable and where you're able to spend the next 10 or so minutes being quiet and imagining the scripture reading that we're going to be reading. The real process is that you listen, and so as we go into whether you're looking the, watching the video or listening, there are going to be no words on the screen, there's going to be very little visual, would encourage you to keep your eyes closed and to listen to the passage that is read. As it's read, to imagine the story, imagine yourself in the passage, what is it saying, but really let this be an inward journey. And then at the end of the passage, there will be two reflective questions. And once you've worked through those questions, you can end off your time in prayer. And so the title of today's Imagining Scripture is The Story of Creation. We're reading the story from 1 Genesis or Genesis chapter 1. And I read in Eugene Peterson's translation. So get comfortable. And so we begin. Heaven and earth. First this, God created the heavens and earth. All you see, all you don't see. Earth was a soup of nothingness, a bottomless emptiness, an inky blackness. God's spirit brooded like a bird over the watery abyss. God spoke, light, and light appeared. God saw that light was good and separated light from dark. God named the light day. He named the dark night. It was evening. It was morning. Day one. God spoke. Sky. In the middle of the waters, separate water from water. God made sky. He separated the water under the sky from the water above sky. And there it was. He named the sky heavens. It was evening. It was morning. Day two. God spoke. Separate. Water beneath heaven. Gather into one place. Land appear. And there it was. God named the land earth. He named the pooled water ocean. God saw that it was good. God spoke. Earth, green up. Grow all varieties of seed-bearing plants, every sort of fruit-bearing tree. And there it was. Earth produced green seed-bearing plants, all varieties, and fruit-bearing trees of all sorts. God saw that it was good. It was evening. It was morning. Day three. God spoke. Lights come out, shine in the heaven sky. Separate dot day from night. Mark, mark seasons and days and years. Lights in heaven sky and give light to earth. And there it was. God made two big lights, the larger to take charge of day, the smaller to be in charge of night. And he made the stars. God placed them in the heavenly sky to light up earth and oversee day and night to separate light and dark. God saw that it was good. It was evening. It was morning. Day four. God spoke. Swarm ocean with fish and all sea life. Birds fly through the sky over earth. 
God created the huge whales, all the swarm of life in the waters, and every kind of species of flying birds. God saw that it was good. God blessed them. Prosper, reproduce, full ocean, birds reproduce on earth. It was evening. It was morning. Day five. God spoke. Earth, generate life. Every sort and kind, cattle and reptiles and wild animals, all kinds. And there it was. Wild animals of every kind, cattle of all kinds, every sort of reptile and bug. God saw that it was good. God spoke. Let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature, so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself, and every animal that moves on the face of the earth. God created human beings. He created them godlike, reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female. God bless them. Prosper, reproduce, fill earth, take charge. Be responsible for fish in the sea and birds in the air of every living thing that moves on the face of the earth. Then God said, I've given you every sort of seed-bearing plant on earth and every kind of fruit-bearing tree, giving them to you for food. To all animals and all birds, everything that moves and breathes, I give whatever grows out of the ground for food. And there it was. God looked over everything he had made. It was so good, so very good. It was evening. It was morning. Day six. Heaven and earth were finished down to the last detail. By the seventh day, God had finished his work. On the seventh day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day. He made it a holy day, because on that day, he rested from his work. All the creating God had done. Amen. The two reflective questions. Who is God to me? And who am I to God? Conclude your time in prayer when you're finished. Amen.